Some some changes. Um, how Jimenez and Kenny Tetti they are going to be unavailable. They are going not to be in the game, and all the others possible they are going to be involved in the game. Yeah. Raul was from the, the game, was the, the hamstring, and uh, Ken is feeling something in the Achilles, nothing really serious, but he's going to be uh, not um, able, available to the match. Raul is going to be to be longer, as you expect, you already said, okay, he's going to be uh, weeks, um, more, more than one month for sure, uh, about Kenny being not so serious. Um, the report that we have from the medical staff that is nothing really um, serious there. Let's see, can be can be ready for the next one. No, thank you. Um, I guess as if we didn't have a lot to think about in terms of um, refereeing and everything else that's going on, there's now the possible introduction of blue cards into the game. I want to get your thoughts on that. Really, I don't have a, an opinion really about what is going to. Um, if it's going to be better or not for, for the game, for the situation. I just wait a little bit more to see really what is going to be the moments to use it, um, all that stuff, and after to take a, to give a, a clear opinion about, about that, of course. And the idea is, of course, everyone wants the game to go, to run more, to have more game inside the pitch. And if you can have more time with 11 against 11 is going to be better, I think, for everybody, for the clubs, for the people, the fans, everybody, but okay. Um, this is the opinion that I have right now, but I have to to look and to see um, everything to have a different opinion after that. Do you think changes like that in some way could cause further complications, like it took the league a while to get used to VAR, admittedly we're still in a phase of getting used to it? Um, one of the things that is important in football and um, even more in English football in Premier League is about... Uh, the intensity of the game, the, the timing that you are playing, the fans in, full involved there, and um, one of the things that is being more difficult for the fans to understand how, when the game stops so many times with VAR, all that stuff, and it's important to have to don't uh, create even more moments like that. But let's see what is going to be the decision, and after you are here to talk about and to give you my opinion. Thank you. Um, I want to ask you, um, Alex, you've only been on a little bit to the Akron final, and if you have not watched any of your courses. Of course, we have been watching not just both, even when uh, uh, Balotelli was there, even if he was not uh, playing. Um, we, were, we were watching, we were analyzing, of course, other 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 national teams as well. We are following. Um, mixed feelings, I have to say to you. Of course, we are happy for for them. We are pleased for them. An important moment, moment for both and for for their country and all that all that stuff. For us as a club, is not good. This is, this is to be the most honest possible with you. I think he's he's been long, long time for us without two key players for us. Players that they have been so so important since they joined last last summer. Um, took out a bit more time for Calvin to settle, but after that moment, he was crucial the way we we go over um, in that December month. And of course, Alex from the first moment is being so crucial for us. And uh, because that, I said to you, is mixing mix it of feelings for us. Um, because if you ask me, I would prefer them to have them here with us um, all the January month and February month. At the same time, I'm pleased for them because I know that is important moment for them, for their country and for um, and for them individual point of view. Absolutely. And when they do come back, you they come back with having one at home. Okay, if they are now there playing the final, of course, all of us we are supporting them. Um, is a moment. It's going to be a game. Um, as you know, he's a Portuguese coach as well. Portuguese manager there, of course. And um, I have contact with him. I have contact with, of course, Calvin and uh, and Alex too. Um, good relationship with with the coach as well. And of course, we are right now. We are supporting them because it's just a final. If you ask me, probably three four weeks ago, I was um, I want to really that to come back back as quick as uh, as possible. Is a um, difficult, really difficult challenge. Um, very good side. Um, didn't start so well the, the Premier League, but after that moment, when they start to get good results, of course lifted that, that confidence, their confidence and uh, um, clear idea to play. Team that likes to press uh, strong and really high if, if they can, of course, and always with the players. And you look for their attack line, the quality, the individual quality they have. 
course, with a striker that can punish um, in many, many ways yourself. Um, they are, they are, they have always a treat in the attack line. Of course, that you have to be always aware to control well, um, to control well the game, and of course, after to express ourselves because we have our quality too. We are playing home. We want to to have a completely different performance that we did we, we did have against them in the Boxing Day um, last December. Um, was clear not our afternoon and, and we want to do completely different things and we want to to do our maximum of course to try to play as best as best, as best you can because to win the game Hi Just one question about the team news you mentioned at the end of the game against Burnley that Boyer picked up a lot is he fine? He's fine, yes okay. it's fine. And so available to start tomorrow? Start or to be on the bench yeah like all the players, yeah. Fair enough. And then in terms of the game against Bournemouth, you said you want a different performance, obviously, so given how the result went. What key learnings did you take from that game? On no, it was completely... It was one, one of the worst performances so far this season for us in that Boxing Day, clear. It was not at the standards that should be. I, um, I spoke about... Uh, that game after the match, even during the week, and with you here, the game, the game after that was against Arsenal at home. Was was the the, the game that we played after that that moment? Of course, was a great reaction from ourselves from a really bad performance. That as I, I can say, that was one of the worst this season so far. And of course, we have to do complete everything completely different. Of course, was a moment for us to to learn and to take. Um, not many positives, to be honest, we didn't take, but to take something to improve, to make the players to understand, and after to perform much better. We were able to do it the game after against Arsenal, and we have to play completely different and to perform in a different way than we did in the Boxing Day. Jao was recently interviewed, and he felt that so far this season, the performances have been good, but what was really missing was scoring goals. Did you share that opinion? Do you think that's what's been... The, the difference between picking up points this season. Yeah, you have to be more consistent in football. If you are consistent enough, you can you can um, you are closer to win football matches. Of course, I understand what what you said when he, he said that because if you look, for example, for our last two games um, that you play um, that you did so well in terms of uh, the, being the most dominant team on the pitch, clear the team that clear clear. Created more chances, a team that did almost everything more than the opposition side to win. But at the end, we we drew both games, and this is um, is being something that is being happened with us, um, not always, but in some moments of, of of this season that we deserve much more from the games in terms of the way you play, the way you, what we created. But at the end, it was been difficult for us to be more clinical in front of the goal in some moments. I have to say that last game was not the best example because if you go away from home and you are dominant. Enough, you score two goals away from moment. You are dominant enough. You control all the game. If you don't consider the goals the way you did it last game, was more than enough to win the that football match. Uh, last game was not the best example, to be honest, because of course we had chances to score the third goal and probably the fourth goal. But if you are not, if it's not possible, we have to keep um, the consistent in, in defensive point of view to don't consider goals the way you considered that they were not. Um, at the level that should be, and of course we spoke about it, we analyzed, and we know that we, sh we should have done better in that in both situations. But it's football, and we have to keep going. Sticking with the theme of goal scoring, the final one for me, Amanda Bray has been important until the end of the season. What do you feel he can add then? I can add very, very good things for us, definitely. Firstly, because it's a different profile than we have in our squad. Um, his capacity to um, he's more dynamic, he's more mobile striker than okay. Raul is more or less the same profile as well. As you know, you are going to be without him probably for the next six, seven, seven weeks. Um, he's more or less the same profile than Raul, completely different profile than Rodrigo Muniz or Carlos Vinicius that was here with us the last year and a half. And um, firstly, because that is going to, to add something different for us, and of course, his quality, his, uh, his pace, his, his, his quality, his, his capacity to attack in behind, his. Um, with his dynamic and his mobility, of course, he can create always a, a problems for the back line, and we, we expect very good things from him. He's adapting in our in our in our ID, in our model, um, very well in our football club. He's in a happy place, uh, and let's hope we can start to take the best from him and us to score goals for us. That is is going to be really important. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Hi. Just a bit more on Amanda Brozier. How impressed have you been with? 
his mindset and his work rate and training and, and how well he's fitted into the system? No, he's, he's, I think this week will, it was really important for him. Of course, you can, as you know, he, he just arrived last uh, the day before the match last week and before the Berlin game, OK? He was involved, he played the last 20 minutes. Um, but in that moment, of course, we tried to do things in a different way. It was not enough time to, to work with him. It was just a um, day before the, the match session. Okay, as you know, it's not normal. Something is more strategic point. Something to, to plan to the game. Uh, with some videos, of course, you try to get some and win some time with him and to for him to be able to understand the way you want and what we demand from him and what we expect from him too. This week was a good one, as I said before, because okay, normal week to prepare the game um, was much more. What's different for him to understand on the pitch, on the on the, on the training sessions, to understand what we expect from him. You start to see very good things from him as well, and of course, if you need him um, tomorrow, and um, he's going to be ready to play. Last week he was ready, not understanding everything from us. Now step by step he's going to be more adapted for uh, what we what we expect from him. You know, how much of a boost would it be to get Awobi and Batty back to the confidence and morale of the squad? Uh, they are going to be really important. Not okay, as as you know, we had um, very very good moments last last December, and uh, they played a big part on it. That is the reality. You cannot hide that situation when uh, um, was. Two of the most important signings last last summer as well, players where we spent um, money too, and we expected good things from him. Um, very good to see that they were they were de uh, delivering what we expect uh, from both. Um, to be for us to be without um, more than than a month uh, already, a uh, month and a half almost without two players, normal starting eleven players uh, in our in our team, players that are so important because they're dynamic, they're. they're um, young, young lads. Alex is not so young, even if the way he plays sometimes looks younger than he's, he really is. But Calvin Bassi with his um, how is important for us, his aggressiveness on and off the ball, all that stuff. But it's what it is. We are without them, of course. We expect them to come in a, in a good conditions to help us. Now let's wish them all the best for the final. Did you have another question? Hi. Hi. Um, how much extra pressure is there on the game tomorrow? Because there's only one point between you and Bournemouth. Yes, it's a normal pressure. I understand the question. Of course, you want to finish the, the game above them, and that is the thing. Is that is, is our goal? Is is what we want to to see in the end of the game? Clear to be in a different position to go to be one position uh, um, to climb the, the the table one position at, at least to be to be there. And of course, just with the three points, we are going to get it. And the pressure is there. Um, from that situation, but um, other pre other things are important for us that uh, can create a pressure. Okay, we want to to answer from the last uh, last uh, game that we are really close to win it, and we 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 didn't. And of course, we we create this pressure and put this pressure on ourselves that we want to to give a different answer tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hello, Mark. Um, um, can I just clarify? Is Harry Wilson fit? Yes, yeah, he's going to be. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Um, Obviously, you've had players go off to the Africa Cup of Nations. Other players have gone off to the Asian Cup as well. How do you feel about the international schedule if it affects you domestically? Affects not no doubt when you have this um, these competitions in in an important month of the, the season for us domestically. Of course, is is not the best scenario, but we knew that. Um, in the beginning of the season, we knew that when you sign uh, Alex and and. Uh, Calvin and even um, Balotelli. Of course, we knew it. we knew it that uh, we can can happen this situation. And uh, but if you ask me, of course, it's not the best scenario um, when this, when these type of competitions. We are talking about long competitions, not something that is going to be one week or two weeks or something. You are talking about um, much more if you have uh, important players in important national teams uh, that can reach. Uh, in, Important stage in the competition, okay, semi finals or finals. We are talking about more than a month and a half, and a month and a half. Um, so many games to play. Um, Premier League, as you know, semi finals of, of Carabao Cup for us, FA Cup game as well, with some injuries that unfortunately we had as well, with a short um, squad that we have in terms of solutions. Of course, it's not it's something that creates a, a difficult final scenario for us. But I really believe that is not just for us. You have some other clubs in in Premier League, not many that they have more than more than than us in terms of players there. But it's what it is. 
nothing to do, nothing to change. We have to go with the players that we have. You mentioned how disappointed you were with the game on Boxing Day at Bournemouth, um, but you were playing against a Bournemouth team in brilliant form at the time. They dropped off since then. Are you, are you thinking that tomorrow is going to be a significantly different game between the two? It has to be. It has to be a different game because uh, we have to play much, much better. That is the, the thing, and our aim is clear. It's not about Bournemouth's moment or not, uh, or mo Bournemouth's form or, or not. It's much, much, uh, much more about ourselves. If you want to compare the, the game in the Boxing Day, uh, it's going to be okay. Huge respect, um, the quality they have, all that stuff. Premier League game is always like that. Uh, but it's much, much more about what we have to do better than we did last Boxing Day and looking for ourselves and to improve our performance. It's not simply about stopping one strike, though, is it? it no, of course, of course, of course not, of course not. Uh, as you know, and... Uh, um, is a very, very good one, no doubts about it. He's, he's a player that I... Um, I relate in a in a high level in my opinion the capacity that he has to to score goals to create to the others not just a striker that scored the the capacity that he has to create to the others how he's strong um, um, playing the shoulder of the back line uh, the, the runs in behind all that stuff is always a player that um, can be a treat to you but he's not I agree with you he's, of course it's not just a um, a striker team is much more than that, and of course, if they have been providing for him, because the other, the others, they are doing a, a very good job too. As for Brogan, there might be an expectation on him to be performing and be scoring practically, just because of the players that you have missing at the moment, unfortunately. Um, I'm just wondering how the home fans are going to take to him, because he is a Chelsea loanee and he has scored against Fulham already this season. Do you hope they'll get behind him? If I hope, I don't hope, I don't see nothing more than to 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 support the player. For me, what I don't understand the question. Sorry to say to you, but okay, let, let me answer. Okay, but I don't understand the question. What I think the what the 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 full and fans they should do is just my opinion. They should support our players to in football matches. Simple as that. I think nothing more in their mind than to see to support uh, Armando to score goals and to help the the, the Fulham to to go. And this moment, uh, Armando is our player until the end of the season, and for sure he's going to do the best for the for the team and for the club and for the the white shirt. And I don't see uh, reasons for nothing more than to support him from the the first minute that he's playing until the last. They'll probably support more if he scores tomorrow. Okay, but if he can assist and win the game, I'm really I'm going to be really pleased for that as well. Thank you. Okay, that's the broadcast section.